Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Bloss and I'm the liaison librarian for Allied Health Sciences and the School of Dental Medicine. I wanted to talk to you today about how to access RefWorks, which ECU subscribes to, and also some of the free citation managers that are out there. So first I'm going to show you how to access RefWorks from our homepage. So you can go to hsl.ecu.edu and all the links that you need should be on this page. So the first thing you would want to do is um, you can access RefWorks via the databases list here, or if you scroll down, you'll see RefWorks new interface. The legacy interface is only for those who don't have a RefWorks account um, in the new one. If you've never used RefWorks before, I would say just go ahead and use the new interface. No need to use this link here. So um, for me, it's going to do the ECU single sign-on. Um, if you've never used it before, it should pop up with a box and it'll just ask you to log in. Okay, and mine looks a bit different because I've been in and out of both um, the old legacy one and the new one. Um, but once you log in, once you have your login, I'll show you how to go through everything. So. Here is where you do create account and you would enter your ECU email. It'll check that and then you can create your brand new account. So that's right here at the bottom. Um, for me, I'm going to go ahead and log in because I've had an account in the past. You sign in. So this is what um, RefWorks should look like. So our first step to doing anything with it is to import some references into it. So you can see I already have a few here. Um, when you log in, you won't see any there yet. So I want to show you how to get references from new PubMed and then how to do that from the other databases as well. PubMed is a little bit different in that you have to download a file with your citation information and then upload it into RefWorks. So we have a new PubMed link here, and we also have a link here. And this is a great link to use instead of just going to PubMed.gov because with this link, it'll make sure that you get all of the links to the full text if you go through the library's website. So I'm doing some research on acid reflux. So I can just type in my term. And then let's say that these results look really good to me. Um, you could also check off the boxes of however many articles that you want to add to your citation um, manager. So we can tick the boxes or you can just pull all the results from your entire search if you'd like. And then we're gonna go to this link here that says send to and do citation manager. And so then I can either choose to take all the results on this page, all the results of my entire search, which is nice if you have like, let's say like 50 results and you wanna pull them into your citation manager, or I can just pick my five articles that I've already selected below. And then I'm gonna do create file. This is gonna download a file here um, that's a .nbib file. And this has all the information about these citations including the title, the abstract, the authors, so that we can upload it into RefWorks. So I like to work with just the database open in one tab and then my citation manager open in another tab so I can just go back and forth as I'm doing my work. So I go back over to my RefWorks account and then I'm gonna go use add to add a reference. And we're gonna do import references. So you can create a new reference by entering the information manually, but it's a lot faster to do the import. And then we will go to select a file from your computer and we'll go into downloads and we'll pull our set from that we just downloaded just now. So it'll automatically say we think this is from NLM PubMed and it is, and say import. And then once you're in there, you can either say don't assign it to a folder yet, or if you have a folder already, you can check that. So I'm just going to import it. And it'll save the documents to your references library. So now we're in this last imported folder here on the left hand side. I've got my five articles that I just pulled in. 
and then we can click assign to folder at the top and then this is where you can either create a brand new folder in order to organize your research and different projects into folders or for me I already have a folder called acid reflux research and I can hit that folder and then now when I go to the left hand side to my folders um, you can see that I have 15 articles now in my research folder here. So you can also add a new folder, you can add as many as you want, and then that'll just kind of help you keep track of if you have certain papers you're working on or projects, you can keep those references separate. Let me show you another database. So again, this was just using Send to Citation Manager. You can also click on an individual article in PubMed and do Send to Citation Manager. And then that's going to download the file, which you can then do add import reference and it'll pull it right into RefWorks for you. So I want to try another database. Um, let's look at CINAHL, which is also an allied health database. It has some nursing stuff. It has some allied health references. So let's do my search here for acid reflux. Hit search. And It'll suggest for you some different search terms that you might use. So let's say we want to search acid reflux as keyword, or you could check off any of these terms that appeals to you. All right. So now um, we have a few references that come up and you can add multiple items to your folder. So let's do that. Let's add these items into the folder and then we can come up here to our folder and then we can select these and do export. So in PubMed it was save and, and send to citation manager. This one we're going to do export and then it'll automatically have checked direct export to RefWorks but just in case it doesn't do direct export to RefWorks and then do save. And then it'll say, hey, are you exporting to RefWorks? And say, yes, export to the newest version. Hit that button. And then I'm going to hit my acid reflux research folder automatically. So it'll put it right into my folder. And then just hit OK. So now I have 18 things in my folder. So if you're working from an EBSCOhost database, a ProQuest database, or any of those ones, it's a lot easier because you just hit direct export to RefWorks and it'll take you through it. Um, the only one that's different is PubMed where you would have to download that file. And then once we're in RefWorks, hit add import reference. So that's the, the two basic ways to get your references into RefWorks. And from there, let's take, let's click on our folder and we can do create bibliography. So this is the quickest way to do your bibliography is to just go to the folder of references, hit create bibliography, and it'll automatically make this bibliography for you. So this is an APA 6 edition. Um, we also have AMA and let me see, we should have APA seventh edition so then you can pick the one you'd like for that so they've done a lot of different um different ways of doing it so you can have the the doi here like this um so let's select that and see what it does so this one's really nice because it'll actually change it so that the title is the way it's supposed to be with only the first letter of the title and the first letter after the colon capitalized, it has the journal in italics, it has um, the first part of the DOI so that someone could copy and paste that number in. So they've done the APA 7th edition in a bunch of different ways, so you can play around with it and see which one works the best for you. I always recommend that people double check their references list if they're using RefWorks and note whichever thing you're using because, um, you know, it is a computer doing the work for you, so it can make mistakes. Um, but this should look pretty good, and then you could use that for your references list. There's also something if we go back here and go to tools, and then you'll click on tools again, which I know is kind of silly, but that's how they've set it up. 
you can install the Save to RefWorks button, which works pretty decently. It's kind of like a pin it button, like for Pinterest or something, but instead it's to save papers and items directly into RefWorks. So that goes up on your browser. So you can try installing that and using that and see if it works for you. I don't use it too much. I usually do a direct export from the actual database. Um, the other thing that you can install is this Write and Cite um, plugin. This will actually install it directly into your Microsoft Word as a plugin, and I might do a separate video on how to do that. But if you're interested in it, you should be able to download this, and then you log in to your RefWorks account in Microsoft Word, and then you can pull references directly in and do your in-text citations as you're writing. So this is something I would recommend, especially if you're doing something like a literature review. And I can, I can go into a little bit more later on, but it's actually quite easy to do. You just hit download and install. And then once you're in your um, Microsoft Word, you'll see a tab where it'll say RefWorks that you hit that. And then it'll ask you to log into the same RefWorks account that you're using on the website. And then that's gonna enable you to insert citations directly into your paper. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, one thing I want to point out is if you go to RefWorks YouTube, they have a whole page of general videos. I'm just making this one today so that you can kind of see the specifics of how to work with PubMed. But RefWorks has a ton of videos as well here, so if you need any more detailed information on how to use RefWorks, this is there for you as well on their YouTube page. Um, other citation managers you can use, there's one called Zotero. This one is completely free that you can download and use it. A lot of people really like it. So that's Zotero. And there's another one called Mendeley. And the nice thing about Mendeley is that you can actually, it's, it's also free and you can drag and drop a PDF of an article right into Mendeley and it'll automatically pull that info in for you. I believe that RefWorks should be able to do that as well where you can drop a document into it. Um, but I know with Mendeley, it works really, really well. So if you have a ton of PDF articles saved, this one is really useful for that. So, and I like to mention Mendeley and Zotero because they are free. So after you leave, um, you know, your life as a student, you can still keep your references with you, especially if you wanna keep publishing in the future. So those are really the basics of what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, Again, the RefWorks new interface login is right here. Um, during the social distancing period, all of the librarians are still working. Um, we're just working from home, so you can do this chat with a librarian button. Um, but specifically, if you go under About Us here on the website, and if you go to Find a Librarian, you'll see all of the different departments. And here's my photo and my email and my phone number. My phone number is actually forwarded to my cell phone. So you can call, you can email if you have any questions about using RefWorks, we can try to troubleshoot that for you. Um, but again, I would sort of recommend trying RefWorks while you're at ECU and then keep um, Mendeley and Zotero in mind for the future. So again, if you have any questions, my email is blossj19 at ecu.edu. So good luck with your um, literature review, and I look forward to talking to you more about that process.